Greetings, people of YouTube. Wayne Hackman here, aka Waxstar. This is a series in looking at free PBX. This particular series will have free PBX installed on a Raspberry Pi, but some of these will transfer over to any free PBX administration. Thank you for everyone who has watched all of my Raspberry Pi uh, free PBX tutorials. And as always, I write this disclaimer saying I am not an expert. Everything that I have learnt, I have learnt of things like the asterisk for Raspberry Pi uh, website and also the free PBX um, forums. So when you first log on to your machine and if you have a distribution from uh, this asterisk to, for Raspberry Pi, the first thing that you need to do is going to open up a web browser that I've got here. And um, if you're using a Raspberry Pi and you're on a, a standard computer, you need to type HTTP colon forward slash Rasp PBX. Or if you're on a Mac, it's HTTP uh, um, colon forward slash for us Rasp PBX dot local. Uh, or you can do what I've done here and tap in the local IP address of that particular machine. And you will come up with this login page. There's a few useful things here. Take This free PBX support button will take you to their website. Um, but also you've got free PBX administration, user control panel, and again, this will take you to the support site. So you're going to want to log in by clicking on free PBX administration. And the default password is very, very simple. It's admin and admin. That is if you're using the distribution connected to the Raspberry Pi. Um, I'm going to log in now. Um, obviously, this is a configured system, so my password is a little longer and a little different, and I'm not going to tell you. So when you open up, you'll be presented with this status page. So you can see that there are several panes. Uptime um, will tell you the, the various servers that are connected to free PBX. Um, green is good. You can see all of the you know processing and memory and disk space that's available. And also, this is very useful here. This free PBX notices if there's a problem um, or that you need updates, it will inform you here. Now, because this is a configured, you can also see it will tell you how many IP phones are online. And in my case, there are four in my house. Uh, I have four trunks, so four different ways of making calls, uh, one of which is online at the moment. Um, so this is the first look of what you will see when you log in. You've got various drop-down menus, and in later videos, I'm going to look at how you create an extension, how you configure a trunk, and also how you make your first calls. Thanks for watching, and please look towards the next free PBX tutorial coming very soon.